friends welcome to my channel today i am going to discuss about flow charts just like algorithm the flow chart is also a tool to represent the logic so in the last class i have discussed about algorithm okay so algorithm is nothing but step by step process it is used to solve one particular problem okay like algorithm the flow chart is also a tool to represent the logic okay as the name itself indicates it is a flow chart helps us graphical visualize the flow of control within the sequence of statements okay so it is used to indicate that in a diagrammatic format it is used to indicate in a diagrammatic format the flow of information okay at times it becomes easier for understanding logic between what we have uh, what we have a picture in front of us okay so we can easily understand the, the logic and the steps in flow chart okay by using flow chart unlike algorithm flow chart uses some standard notations so those standard notations are called symbols to graphically represent the logic okay so flow chart is developed by using some symbols flow chart is used to represent the flow of control in a diagrammatic format okay next preparing a flow chart a flow chart may be simple or complex the most common symbol that are used to draw a flow chart are so these are the important symbols those are process decision data terminator connector flow of lines so these are the very important symbols in flow chart while drawing a flow chart some rules are need to be followed those rules are a flow chart should have start and end okay a flow chart should have start and end like algorithm so in algorithm also the first step is start and the last step is stop okay the direction of flow in the flow chart must be top to bottom so from top to bottom the flow of control next the third point the relevant symbols must be used while drawing a flow chart so flow chart symbols are predefined we need to use those symbols to represent the flow of data okay while preparing the flow chart the sequence selection or iterative structures may be used whenever required okay so sequence selection and iterative structures may be used whenever requires so these sequence and selection iterative have different different structures okay so these are the symbols used for developing the flow chart the first symbol is process and the second symbol is alternative process next decision so third one uh, fourth one is data predefined process internal storage document multi document terminator so this is used for termination as well as starting point okay next preparation manual input manual operation connectors so mostly we used we use some symbols those are process decision data and the next one is terminator and start connector and next one is flow of lines okay so these are the most common symbol most popular symbols used for developing the flow chart okay remaining also important okay flow chart symbols the different flow chart symbols have different conventional meanings the first one is terminal symbol so this is the terminal symbol it is used to represent starting and stopping of flow chart okay the symbol given 
below is used to represent the terminal symbol it is used to indicate start and stop of flow chart okay next symbol is input and output symbol the input and output symbol is used to represent input data okay so input is nothing but when we sorry when system gathers the information from the user that is known as input data when the computer is used to display the information it is used to send the information to the user that is nothing but output symbol it is used to display the output operation okay so this is the symbol it is used to represent input and output okay next symbol is process symbol so it is used to represent flow chart with the help of rectangle box okay so by using rectangle box we can represent process symbol so it is used to represent the arithmetic and also data movement instructions arithmetic op operations as well as data movement instructions okay the next symbol is decision symbol so diamond shaped symbol is used to represent decision symbol so if we want to um, if you want to check whether a greater than b or not okay so here a value is 5 b value is 10 okay so we need to check whether a greater than b or not okay so in this situation in this situation we represent this in diamond shaped symbol decision symbol okay the next symbol is connector so the connector symbol is used if flows disconnected so when the flow chart uh, flow is disconnected at some point we need to continue again at another place so in that situation in those situation we use connector symbol okay the next one is flow of lines so these are very important flow of lines flow of lines are used to represent the flow of data so whether bottom or top left or right okay so these are used to represent flow of information next description of flow chart symbols so flow chart symbols uh, flow chart has a different structure in terms of sequence selection and iteration okay so let's see one by one so here the first one is a sequence sequence is nothing but one by one okay so first we need to start the flow chart and then these are the input output symbol next one is process again input output so first we are taking input then we are processing and they are then we are giving the output to the user and next stop so this is sequence one after another okay when the flow chart flows from top to bottom this is known as sequence okay next one is selection selection is nothing but condition okay so when we want to select only one from set of alternatives then we need to use the selection symbol so first the flow chart is starts and then so here we are checking the condition so for checking condition we use diamond shaped symbol so if the condition is true then this statements are executed if the condition is false this statements are executed so when we want to select one particular from several several alternatives then we use selection okay selection structure next one is iterative structure so there are three types of iteratives those are while do while and for i will explain those topics later so first see first we need to start the flow chart then process then we are checking the condition if the condition is true again the process will be repeated if the condition is false sorry
ओके सो स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस नेक्स्ट हियर यू चेक द कंडीशन इफ द कंडीशन इज ट्रू देन स्टेटमेंट्स आर एग्जीक्यूटेड इफ द कंडीशन इज नॉट ट्रू देन अगेन द प्रोसेस विल बी रिपीटेड अंटिल द कंडीशन विल बी ट्रू ओके सो दीज आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लो चार्ट स्ट्रक्चर्स सीक्वेंस सेलेक्शन इटरेशन सेलेक्शन मीन्स सेलेक्टिंग वन फ्रॉम सेवलर ऑल्टरनेटिव इटरेटिव मीन्स रिपीटिंग सेम प्रोसेस मेनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स सो हियर द प्रोसेस इज रिपीटेड अंटिल द कंडीशन इज true okay next so see one example start it is the algorithm to find out the average of three numbers okay average of three numbers so for this you need to take three inputs from the user so second step is input the first number into the n1 and second number n2 third number n3 then we need to do sum for n plus n2 plus n3 okay so n value is 10 n2 value is 20 n3 value is 30 so sum is equals to 10 plus 20 plus 30 so here sum is 60 then we need to calculate the average so average formula is sum by number of integers so here the sum is 60 number of integers are 3 3 ones are 3 twos are so average is 20 so we know algorithm but we need to draw the flow chart for this algorithm okay so we know the start symbol we know input symbol and we know process symbols okay so here the input symbol is terminator symbol and next so this is input output symbol and next this is process symbol and this is termination symbol we all know symbols so let's see the flow chart here so first you need to start then we need to read three integers okay read n1 n2 and n3 next we need to sum sum is a process and average is also a process so that's why sum is equals to n1 plus n2 plus n3 so 60 is stored in sum then we need to do average average is equals to sum divided by number of integers those are three okay next we need to print okay print is a output statement output we are we are displaying the messages for user so this is the output symbol print average then we need to stop the process okay so this is the flow chart in this way we need to draw the flow chart so let's see one more example so this is the example algorithm for find outing maximum value okay maximum value among two numbers so for this first we need to take two integers okay those are 10 5 so next we need to check whether 10 greater than 5 or not so in this situation 10 is greater than 5 then maximum is a that is 10 if 10 is not greater than 5 5 greater than 10 for suppose 5 greater than 10 so in this situation 5 greater than 10 is not true so in that situation else part is executed okay and if display max maximum value is 10 okay so let's see the flow chart for this algorithm so first you need to start then we need to input the first number so the first number is 10 then we need to take second number second number is 5 then we are checking 10 greater than 5 10 greater than 5 is it true yes it is true so display first number the first number is 10 10 will be displayed if it is false 5 will be displayed 
okay so here so here the flow chart is disconnected so that's why we are using terminator symbol sorry connector symbol okay next stop so in this way we can represent the flow of information in a diagrammatic format okay when we represent flow of information in a step by step process that is known as algorithm when we represent flow of information in a gram uh, graphical format that is diagrammatical format thus that is known as flow chart okay next advantages of flow chart so here the advantages are communication so we can easily communicating the logical program okay next synthesis flow chart is used as working model in designing new programs and new software programs new software system we can easily design new programs and software system next one is efficient coding flow chart acts as guide for programmer in writing actual code in high level language so high level language is nothing but mich uh, english language human understandable language okay next one is proper debugging debugging is nothing but rectifying errors bug is error debugging means rectifying errors so we can easily rectify the errors because this is the in the format of graphical format so in a graphical format we can easily identify the errors okay next one is effective analysis logical programs can be easily done with the help of related flow charts next one is proper documentation flow chart provides better and proper documentation it consists variety various activities such as collecting organizing storing maintaining or related programs records okay next one is testing testing is nothing but rectifying errors find outing errors next one efficient program maintenance the maintenance of the program will be easy okay so these are the advantages of flow chart next disadvantages so what are the disadvantages so here time consuming so for larger programs we need to draw the flow chart it is very time consuming process next complex it is not easy to draw flow chart for large and complex problems so for smaller problems we can easily draw the flow chart but for large programs and complex programs it is very difficult there is no standard so in the flow chart there is there is no standard determine the quality of details okay we need to rectify the errors we need to correct the flow chart next difficult to modify so it is very difficult to modify the existing flow chart okay because you need to check from first to last okay so by this this class is completed i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this please comment me in the comment section and if you want any specific topic please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel